What's the very latest, Jack, from the Yankees' perspective? Talking to people who are familiar with the Yankees thinking, Bob, the way I would describe the Yankees right now is they're cautious buyers. They went into this trade deadline situation knowing that there were some areas where they would like to improve. They would love to add an outfielder. They know they could use the boost offensively. They would like to add a bullpen arm if possible. And they would also like to add some help behind the plate. But they're cautious buyers because they're not interested in trading any of their high-end prospects and they're also trying to thread the needle financially in terms of who they might want to add so Bellinger was someone who was high on their list he's off that list right now because the Cubs have said they're not going to trade him they were connected in some reports with Randall Gritchick that's not someone who they were willing to go down that road you hear of outfielders like Tommy Pham and Teoscar Hernandez I've heard that those are not names that are of great interest to them keep an eye on Dylan Carlson with the Cardinals but that's someone who is going to cost you in terms of prospects and again where are the Yankees willing to go we've been hearing a lot that there are some players that are not under control next year that the Yankees are listening to I think about it from a player standpoint if I'm going to that clubhouse now am I thinking I might be a guy who's getting moved Harrison Bader you got Wandy Peralta I'm sure would be attractive to other clubs you're exactly right flash that's what the Yankees are doing they're in listening mode and the way it was described to me is that there are some teams who are trying to pry some of those players away from the Yankees Bader is a gold glove center fielder and a guy who showed in last postseason that he could play at a high level when the games are at the highest. Would the Yankees be willing to part with him? Wandy Peralta is murder against left-handed batters and a guy who would make any bullpen better. IKF has shown in that utility role that he can do a really good job. And then Luis Severino has not been able to figure it out this year. But is there a team out there that would say, hey, we'll take Severino, we'll take that arm, maybe we can get something out of it for the last two months. I'm not sure the Yankees are definitely going to do that. As I said, they're in listening mode. They still believe that there's a chance that they could do something. And that's the thing that's interesting, guys. When you're three and a half games out of the wild card, you're sort of in this no man lands situation because are you in or are you out? If you were eight games up in the division, You'd be trying to better yourself to go for a championship. If you were eight games out flash in the wild card, you might be waving the white flag as the Mets have. I'm glad that you bring this up because I think back to the days when as a Yankee player, you knew the front office was going to do something to help you out. And they always did. I'm wondering if the Yankee players sitting in that clubhouse today are thinking, are they going to help us? Should they help us from the way that we played? That's the thing I've heard from a lot of higher ups in the Yankee organization is you ask yourself this question at this time of the year is this a championship caliber team is this a team that is close to being a championship caliber team and if you give it a boost then you're helping that team get there well let's be honest about who the Yankees are 55 and 51 they're on a pace to win 84 games an 84 win pace is not a championship caliber pace and all of the things that we're talking about guys all of the potential trades and the potential additions and the potential subtractions anything that the Yankees do do today none of this will matter if Stanton Rizzo LeMahieu the guys who are hitting in the middle of that order don't produce that's the reason the Yankees are even in a situation of being only four games over 500.